Welcome to the Hadley Shoot. Um, some of you guys have shot this before, some of you haven't. Um, I hope you enjoy your day today. Probably looking for more partridge as the pheasants if we can, so if we've got good pheasants next to good partridge, please try and take the partridge. We're standing eight, and we'll move up three, number right to left. Um, some are pegged, some I'll place you. Um, just three. <laughs> What Adam's trying to do now is, Adam and his team of beaters are just pushing the birds from the left to the right and then hopefully over the top of the, over the, top of the guns here. I'm, I'm pegged uh, number eight to the end of the line, but I reckon we might get a couple of birds going straight over us, back over. Uh, but this is one of the original knockabout drives yeah, that yeah, Dad yeah, always yeah. had. Yeah. So there's the hedgerow over on the horizon over there that we used to came past when we came out the farm is where right. we used to have to release the 60 pheasants. But that's Quite how relaxed. these things start, aren't they? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, more, it's, it's more me than him. He just, he just twisted his arm and put more and more and more down. So. Try to be as selective as possible as to what we're shooting and make sure that what we are shooting is the best possible. So many birds coming over as well, and loads of really good pheasants. Had about 10 shots, 12 shots maybe, three or four birds down, so not too bad. We'll get these picked up. <laughs> no, 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 I was wiggle thinking it. I don't know about that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 That is warm, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I like the barbecue. 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 Yeah, I like Full of badges. Full of badges, right. Biggest okay. badges set, you lose a pickup in there. Um, parks here, which we're going to shoot now, which is this right. gutter here, oh, and the wow. cover crop. And then on yeah, the far yeah. horizon, where the beaters are coming from, bringing you through, is Garlic Hill. Right, okay. Pens down at the bottom on the other side. Yeah, and you've got your man blanking Yeah, blanking this in. So we'll drop down in behind him, line this out, and bring it back right. this way. Amazing. So 26 gram sixes, one of the Hall's high pheasant loads for the 16 bore. Absolutely incredible little load. End of October, absolutely fine for pheasants and partridge. Um, and these birds are getting up to about 40 yards. Nice and clean. And I think we'll be in quite a good position here. Peg number three. There's a few birds moving already.
The English partridge tend to fly quite low, mm. and they used to drive them over over small hedges. And what we just saw was a typical English partridge sort of scene. The birds came out, they took in low, and then they flared over this hedge. And say on these sort of days, it's really not all about numbers. It's about seeing your friends shoot, missing a couple, and then getting laughed at. There's the English partridge again, back over us. That's amazing to see them, isn't it? There was about ten come over. They'll bring up, they'll come back, see, because the, because the pickers are out the back there. Yeah, yeah. That's nice, that's exactly what I want. Yeah. Where, where are we bringing up to? Stop it. So what we have here is, from the second drive, we have a French partridge and our native English partridge. So you can see the difference straight away. The English on the left here, lovely mottled grey and white feathers. The French, these really vivid, vibrant blues almost. and. Not a different bird so much in size, the English is a little bit smaller, but these make a hell of a chatter when they go over the, over the line. And we saw a load come over there, there was maybe 10, 10 of these little native birds come over, and they're an absolute pleasure, they fly completely different. I didn't think we'd shot any, but obviously someone's, someone's managed to get one out of about 10 that went over on that second drive, and I think they're absolutely incredible little birds, beautiful little things, so I might take this one home. Oh, you, you shot an English partridge? No, I was on it. Oh, he dropped three, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Oh, my pet. Yeah, I'm not like some other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the pleasurable yeah. thing. Yeah. Not many people can say that. As with all the shooting I do, I am looking for something I can take home for dinner. Um, I know that we shot a grey partridge on the second drive, so that is going to be cooked and I will probably take home as many pheasants and partridges as possible because I need them for the freezer. These birds this time of year, they've got a nice amount of fat on them, they cook up really, really well and we'll be having some parties over Christmas that I know a big game pile would be really, really useful for. It's a partridge making the way over this way. That's a good drive. 